Besides an ongoing political stalemate, Israelis are facing another homegrown issue, a new coronavirus mutation. P681H, the name of the local strain, was revealed to the public on Tuesday. It's not really, really um, surprising. You know, there were um, uh, several hundred thousand people infected in Israel, and this is the natural cause of uh, viral um, um, diseases. You know, they accumulate some mutations, some persist, some disappear. So we've got another variant here that uh, persists. Israel's health ministry says that close to 200 people have been infected with it, but they're also downplaying its significance. Unlike the British mutation, the Israeli variant does not seem to be more contagious or more fatal than the Wuhan strain. And like the UK strain, the Pfizer vaccine appears to be effective against it so far. Either way, the local mutation is unwelcome news to Israelis, who have just started to take advantage of the East restrictions. It's been a long time since uh, since we went outside the entire family, and it's feel like uh, we're coming back to life. It's very good. It's a little bit deceiving, but it, it feels great. I mean, things are not going to be normal so quickly, but it's a, it's the sense of normal that feels good. According to the health ministry, the Israeli variant was first seen in July, but has since fallen off the map. Israel hit the lowest rate of positive daily cases since then and no longer has any coronavirus red zones, which raises the questions if this new strain is no longer circulating and poses little to no threat, why raise any alarm?